All right, all right, all right, all right. Time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And guess what? Rain is in the forecast. Let's get to our spot and get her done. Okay, so today's that day. Rain is in the forecast. Anywhere between one and five hours from now, it's going to dump and it's gonna rain throughout the night. So I'm behind the power curve a little bit. Now think back to our video we did a few weeks back on our $100 thrift store challenge. In that video, we found a 10 by 10 ordinary utility tarp and we set that up in a tarp tent configuration. And I mentioned that I wanted to revisit that when it was actually raining. So today's that day. Okay, so here's the back of our tarp and our standard loop. The one to my left, I'm gonna stake it down. And I'm gonna pull it tight. The one to the right, I'm gonna stake it down as well. So with the two back stakes that are in, right there and right there, I'm going to take this corner and we're going to tuck it under, directly in front of the stake. Same thing on this side right here. So from here, taking our stick with our shemag, we're going to place it underneath. We're going to start right here at this loop. All right, from here, there's two things to consider, room and elements. I wanna create as much room as possible on the inside for me and my gear. I wanna be comfortable. Second is I wanna block the wind and the rain that's coming. So taking this front loop, I'm gonna pull it forward and up as far as possible to shed that water off. And to do that, you can simply tie a piece of cordage to a tree branch above you, or take that cordage and tie it to a stake out in front. Doing that will block your entrance also, if there's a fire out here, it might melt that line. So we'll figure this part out here in a minute. On the back side, we have loops as well. I wanna get one of those loops, put a toggle through there and pull it back and open up the back side so that I have a lot more room.
All right, so plan A, why? Because it's starting to rain. And when that occurs, you gotta cut corners and shut down or shift to something else. So we get the ground pad inside here. We have our guy line. I'll just put the fire off to my right so it shouldn't interfere with the guy line. And hopefully it'll all work out. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. want to lower this end right here so the water is going to travel up diagonally. Then lift the back side and create sort of like a curl. That way the water is going to hit it, travel down to this low spot, and I can collect it.
Okay, so under that tarp, it's just too loud. So we'll sit out here and we'll get wet. Um, Corporal's version of Spanish rice or dirty rice. We have two cups of rice, your choice, four cups of water, one can of diced tomatoes with oregano, garlic, and basil, half can of tomato paste, seasoned to your liking, and topped off with extra sharp cheddar cheese. Mm. Man, oh man, catch you all in a few. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. This crap ain't gonna stop anytime soon, so it's gonna be kind of impossible to actually hear what I'm saying. That rain is just too loud in that tarp, um, and that sucks. So, here's what it is. If you wanted a wet weather video, you got one. Solo overnight in a rainstorm. Here we go. Um, I can almost guarantee the fire is gonna go out at some point, but I'm gonna utilize this heat that I have right now to dry myself out and hope for the best. So, is what it is. So I gave you guys a different fire starter. Now you've seen me take the duct tape before and actually roll it up into small little cigar shapes and light the end with a big lighter. All we did here is we went ahead and took strips. If you look at those strips closely, there's small fibers inside there. And then we used our ferro rod to light one of those fibers. It actually burns through the tape and then you just fold it over on itself and it actually will congeal down into a molten mess. So, which will dry the wood out and light your fire. So, it'll work. So, I talked about the construction starting in my house last week. It actually starts tomorrow. So, I'm going to have to get out of here early AF and get back because 0730-ish, 08. I got basement guys coming and then a construction crew to start working on my house. So more updates to come. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and try to find some wood and dry it out. So catch you all in the morning. Close to six o'clock, uh, and the rain finally stopped. So, uh, coffee time. coffee. Drop me a comment and tell me what you think it is. Let's talk about this shelter. We have a 10 by 10 oil skin tarp from Bushcraft Spain set up in a tarp tent configuration uh, with a tarp awning over top. It started dumping rain halfway through my video and all through the night. Put the fire out but I was actually comfy and dry inside this bad boy right here. So I'm gonna revisit this probably a few more times but in a different way. More great things to come. And there you go, solo overnight, camping in the rain. 
With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One of my Amazon Influencer page and two of my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.